Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this super like, it's not too dramatic but it's very achievable. It's so easy. It looks like you put so much effort in but really it's just like chuck on some shadow, put some liner on there and smoke it out and boom you've got this gorgeous sexy feline, very sultry look. This is like a get ready with me because I'm going to a 21st right now so I'm about to head out the door. So I thought I'd just film myself getting ready for you guys. It is a voiceover because... I thought if I did do a talk through, it's hot. Um, I thought if I did a talk through that I would end up like running out of time or would get too dark to film in. So I just it does start out lighter than this and then it just slowly gets darker as the sun goes down. But I thought I'd just film it for you guys since you did like the other two that I did. Um, yeah, if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me, babe. That would be so helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much. And I'll see you soon. Mwah. Hey, guys. So let's get to this face. Don't mind the layer of grease just over my skin. It is so hot. So you have to bear with me through this tutorial because, <laughs> girl, I get a solo or two. <laughs> So I decided to begin off with my eyes just in case there was any fallout with the eyeshadow or anything like that. So I decided to prime my eyes first to create that nice long wearing even base. And I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm applying this all over my lid from lid to brow bone and creating a nice even base like I said. So that the shadows apply more smoother and pigmented and true to the colour and all that good stuff honey. Once I've blended that through, I'm taking this like matte bone coloured white shadow from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm applying that all over the lid with a light, just, sorry, just a light dusting of that shadow, nothing too heavy, I just want to set that cream base in place. Next for our transition colour, I'm going in with these two matte brown shades from the same palette. And I'm applying this on with a fluffy crease brush. It's just a transition colour, guys, so just grab something a couple shades darker than your natural skin tone. It's going to help us apply those next shadows more smoothly and evenly into the skin. Next, I'm grabbing this corally, like, orangey red shade from the same palette and applying this with a slightly more denser brush. This is a soft crease brush from Zoeva. I'm packing this on the outer corner and also through the crease, mapping out the shape that I want with my eye. I'm creating that feline elongate, elongated eye shape, so I'm applying that shadow to the outer corner of my eye, the outer V, and blending it through the crease and up towards the brow bone so it's really smoked out. Next, I'm grabbing Bitten from Makeup Geek. It's a gorgeous, like, what would you say, like a kind of wine coloured red shade. And I'm applying this tightly against my lash line to map out that smoked liner look that we're going to be doing later on. And once I've kind of smoked it out towards the tail of my brow bone, I'm going to bring that through the outer crease as well. So kind of create my outer V shape, really elongate the eyes. I'm just slowly packing on this colour, making it more pigmented each time. I'm also making sure to focus most of that pigment against my lash line because that is where we're going to create that smoked out wing liner. Next I'm going back in with that corally shade from before on that same soft crease brush. I'm just um, buffing out the edges of Bitten so it's a bit more softer and smokier. Next taking those transition colours I'm doing the exact same thing that we do with the corally shade. Just applying it to the very very outer skirts of the eye because I do want to create a nice smoky even blended gradient. Then going back in again with Bitten I'm just deepening it up a little bit because with the blending process, you can take away some of that pigmentation, so I'm just building it up again. For our winged liner, I first take a black eye coal. This one's from Makeup Geek in the shade Obsidian, and I'm just applying my usual wing a bit thicker than maybe I usually would because it is kind of the focus of this eye look. And then I go in with a deep brown shade. Any deep brown will do, guys. I'm just going in with the same Morphe palette, and I'm applying this on with a Pro Precision Smudge Brush from Morphe and I'm just smudging out that black eye coal. I'm doing one eye at a time because I find the coal can kind of set in place so I want it to still be quite creamy. So I'm just buffing out the edges of that black eye coal and also bringing it through the outer crease slightly but more focusing on just 
basically just smudging out that black eye coal. Then I take Bitten again and I'm just buffing out to that deep brown. Then going back in with the deep brown and smudging out the black. I just kind of go back and forth, guys, between the brown and the red shade to buff out the black liner and also to create a nice even blended look so there's no harsh lines. Then taking the corally shade and buffing out the edges so there's no harsh lines as well. And then also taking those transition colours and buffing out the edges of the corally shade. Boom, babe, boom. <laughs> then for our black wing liner, I like to make it a bit more pigmented and defined. I'm going in with a black liquid liner. This one's from, I can't remember, I'll leave it linked down below. It's just a black liquid liner and I'm basically applying it tightly to my lash line and bringing it up towards where the edge of the black eye coal is. Um, I'm not applying any more product to the actual brush so that when I kind of bring it up to where the edge of the eye coal is it looks a bit more softer and smokier rather than a really crisp line if that makes sense and then to even like to smoke it out even more I'm going in with a black eyeshadow on that same morphe brush and I'm buffing out the edges of that um, liquid liner I really like this liquid liner guys because it was so good like, and so easy to smoke out. It didn't, you know, crust away or, you know, fade in any spots. It was really good. Um, so I blend it out and also, as you can see, I'm bringing it through the outer crease of my eye. Just the very outer part, not all the way through. And I'm just buffing the edge of that black liquid liner line. Then I go back in with Bitten and just buff out any harsh lines. You know, you know the drill guys, just going back in with all those shades to soften it up. Then to kind of clean up my brow bone area a bit, I take that same bone color, that bone shadow color that we used before to set the eyelid in place. And I'm just applying that right over top of my brow bone to kind of redefine it and clean up if any like extra eyeshadow that I might have brought up too far. Then for my inner corner, a bit of pop, a bit of something extra, I'm going in with Shimmer Shimmer and I'm spritzing my brush so that it looks more metallic and it applies more like a foiled eyeshadow. And I'm placing this on my inner corners, like I said, just on the very, very inner, inner parts of my eye. And just kind of fading it up with whatever's on the brush up towards the red area. Then I go in with Ice Queen, which is like a kind of, got a sheen to it. It's got a sheen to the eyeshadow. It's, I wouldn't say it's like shimmery, but it does have a sheen. I'm applying Ice Queen to the inner corner of my eye and brow bone. For lashes, I'm going in with these gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous lashes from Icona Lashes. They're in the style Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight Collection. And they're nice and elongated, so they really go with that cut eye look. Next, for our skin, I'm going in and priming first. And because, as, like, as I said before, it's a hot day and um, my oils have come out to play. Let's just say that. So I want to kind of mattify my skin. So I'm going in with my pure, 100% pure, um, mattifying primer. This one's really good for your skin. It's got no nasties in it. It's quite natural and it also mattifies my skin so good. So I'm applying that. Then I'm going in with a translucent powder. This is similar to what I did in my long wearing video recently. So I apply a light dusting of this translucent powder to kind of stop the oils from seeping through my foundation and causing patchiness or fading or like greasy, a greasy finish to my skin and it's so good for summer, I love this technique. And because I'm going out clubbing tonight, I did want to create a nice long wearing look that I will get sweaty on the dance floor. So once I've done a light dusting of that over my skin, I'm going in with my foundation and today I'm using my mattifying, so my matte and pores foundation from May Maybelline in the shade Creamy Beige and mixing it with my foundation in the shade medium beige I believe. I needed to mix those two together to create my perfect shade and also create a nice matte finish to my skin. And I applied that on with my Kabuki brush from Sigma and then I went in with this Eco Tools beauty sponge and guys I freaking love this sponge. It is so good to get around the brows like not getting any foundation in there and just to buff in the extra bits of foundation like it's just so good. I freaking love this beauty sponge. It's so good guys. It's so good and it's good for the environment. Next I'm going in with my concealer and I'm taking my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen and concealing under my eyes and also highlighting slash concealing the center of my face. Um, and then I'm just buffing that in with my 
concealer buffer brush from Saweva. And I just buffed in all the concealer and I forgot to kind of um, buff in the contour, like where I contoured with that um, that concealer. I want Because it's a lighter shade, I decided to do a bit of contouring with it, like just under the cheekbones. And I forgot to buff that in, so you'll see me buff it in later because I forgot. But next I'm highlighting my skin. I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face with my Maybelline Streaming Liquid in the shade Iridescent. And I'm applying this to the high points of my cheekbones using whatever excess is on my fingers on above my brow bone and then highlighting my nose and cupid's bow. And I, as you can see here, I'm buffing in the concealer. I thought it was so funny. I just had concealer sitting there under the cheekbone, just like, what? To set my concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135. It's a slightly lighter shade as well, so it's going to highlight the face. I love highlighting with more dramatic looks like this. It just It's more flattering. It really brings attention to those areas. It gives a bit more dimension to the face. So I'm just pressing this in with a dry beauty sponge. This is the Chi Chi sponge. I'm pressing that into the skin to set it in place. So I'm kind of baking, kind of not, because I don't leave any excess there. I just push it all into the skin. And I set wherever I put concealer down, guys. And then I also kind of use whatever excess is on the sponge, and I just press it all over my face and wherever I apply the foundation, so down my neck as well, to set my whole face in place so I know that it will last all night long. Then I go in with my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray, sorry, mind blank just then, and I set my face in place to lock that base in and will not move. To tight line and place uh, I call my one line, I'm going in with a black eye curl. This is the one we used before, it's in the shade Obsidian, and I'm also dragging that slightly under the bottom lash line on the very outer corner of the eye, so the outer third. Then to set that eye curl in place and smudge it out, I'm going in with the black eyeshadow that we used before from the Morphe 35W palette and just smudging out that black about, oh, I'd say two-thirds of the way, not all the way to the inner corner, guys. Then going in with Bitten again, I'm buffing out the edges of that black to smoke it out even more and bringing that almost all the way towards the inner corner. I want most of the pigment on the outer corner and then just it just fades into the inner corner. Then to buff out the edges, I'm going in with that corally shade and just softly buffing the very edges of Bitten out. Next for my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with Shimmer Shimmer and just applying that with my finger for the most application and pigmentation. And then I go in with some bottom lash mascara, guys, just real quick, just hitting those lashes, making them a bit more blacker so that they stand out against the bottom lash line. And the eyes are completed. Boom, babe, boom. <laughs> For contouring, I'm going to go in with my um, Makeup Geek Contour Powder in the shade Breakup. It's a nice cool tone, kind of grey-brown, so it's good to create that shadow. And I'm just applying that with my NP Set Contour Brush. And then I also contour my forehead, jawline, and nose, just because I felt like being a bit extra today. And I buffed in my nose contour with my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge, so that there was no harsh lines. For bronzing, I'm going in with my Micellin Bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe. And I'm going to apply that to the contours of my face and also basically anywhere we contour before so the perimeters of my face to really warm up the complexion and also on the bod as well because we can't forget that body then I want to be a bit extra because I wasn't being a basic bitch today I was like no I'm going to be extra with my contour so I went in with a fan brush and the same contour powder um the breakup one and I just basically just deepened up the contour of my face and brought it a bit more in towards the side of the mouth to really chisel out those cheek bones. And for blush today, I went in with those two shades from the 9N Morphe blush palette and I'm play applying that to the back part of my cheeks, so the contours. For highlight today, I'm going in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. I know it's an eyeshadow, but it applies gorgeously as a highlight. And I'm applying this to the high points of my cheekbones, above the brow nose, um, cupid's bow, and I think that's it, yeah. For the lips today, I'm going in with a lip liner first. I love been doing this lately because it creates such a soft look to lips. Like, I can make them look bigger, like, fuller and not look harsh. Like, the lip liner just does such a good job with that and also helps the lipstick last longer. And for lipstick, I'm going in with my Zoeva Pale Plethora shade. I'm applying that to my lips and again patting out the edges so that it looks less harsh and more like natural I guess. 
And then to make them look a bit more fuller, I went with a lighter shade. This is the LA one from Kylie Cosmetics, and I applied that to the center of my lips. And then for lip gloss, because I wanted a really full, voluptuous lamps, I went in with this one from the Bonjourist Paris. That's a 3D effect one in Rose Romantic. And then to finish off the look, I just basically spritzed my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to lock all this gorgeousness in. And that is the finished makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, got a little bit out of it, you know, a thing or two. Enjoyed me rambling on. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Have an amazing day. And make sure you guys leave any requests that you'd like me to do down below. Otherwise, have an awesome day. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.